Perfect. Perfect. YouTube, what is good? Welcome to Philly Take with our B, home of the hottest sports takes presented to you by yours truly. Like always, if you are new to the channel or if you've been subscribed. And more importantly, if you are ready for the Philadelphia Eagles to make a splash in free agency, smash that like button and help spread this content to other great Philadelphia fans. We will get right into it. There is so much going on today, so much news. I've been upset because sports are not on at this time. But the one thing that remained stable was the NFL and the free agency kicked off today. So much has happened in just half of a day. Uh, earlier, I am out and I'm reading the tweets. I'm going through it. This is insane. We will start with the big splash of the day. DeAndre Hopkins has been traded from the Texans to the Arizona Cardinals. And boy, let's just break it down. The Texans got absolutely finessed. I'm reading this morning how DeAndre Hopkins could be, you know, on the move potentially. Didn't really hear too much about it. And then all of a sudden, boom, I'm, I'm, I'm even thinking about, you know, if the Eagles could potentially get him in some type of scenario, he's gone. He goes to Arizona. First off, let me just say, Bill O'Brien is incompetent. If he was my GM on my team, he would be instantly fired. He would be gone out of the door. How does that happen? Bill O'Brien has had talent on that team. I've been saying it for years. And he has not been able to get him past the first, second round. I think he has underperformed with the talent he has had. Questionable decisions in games. He barely beat that Bills team in, in the playoffs. That was a terrible game. He blew that, like, what, 20-something point lead against the freaking uh, the Chiefs? He, I mean, that was crazy. That was crazy enough. And then what does the Texans owner do? He gives them more power. He makes him the GM. Everyone was questioning. I was questioning it. And his first big move, he goes out and trades this star of the franchise. I know you, you can count Deshaun Watson as the co-star of the franchise. DeAndre Hopkins is a baller. This man has had 1,000 yards over the past five years. This man has had 46 touchdowns over the last five years. This man has never had below 800 yards. Let's not even forget that the dude hasn't even dropped the ball in like two to three years. He catches everything. And in my opinion, he's been underrated during his time in Houston because they can't take that next step. But DeAndre Hopkins is a baller. I cannot believe that trade. He goes to Arizona for David Johnson, a second round pick and a fifth round pick. The Houston Texans don't have a first round pick. And you're telling me they could not get a first rounder for DeAndre Hopkins? This seems like one of those trades where, like, the first offer, he just said, I'm out of here. Like, he just sent him away. Bill O'Brien, I know he's had some tension with DeAndre Hopkins, but how do you think your quarterback feels? Who's Deshaun Watson going to be throwing the ball to? Kenny Stills? Will Fuller, who can't stay on the field? First, the problem was you couldn't get him any protection. Now, who is he going to throw the ball to? I mean, it's not my problem to worry about, but I cannot believe it. Moments later... You know, I see Hayden Hurst. Who Do you even know who that is? He goes from the Ravens to the Falcons for, guess what, a second rounder and a fourth rounder. So you're telling me, instead of a second and a fourth, you get a second, a fifth, or I think it was a, uh, Hopkins went for a second and a fourth. Hayden Hurst went for a second and a fifth. DeAndre Hopkins went for a second, a fourth, and David Johnson. He, he had like a breakout season a couple years ago, but he can't stay healthy. The Texans have traded for three running backs in the last year. Duke Johnson, Carlos Hyde, and now David Johnson. What are they doing? I don't even know. Uh, Lamar Miller, he's about to be gone in free agency. That, that is crazy, man. All I can say is, huh, I was, I was just starting to think about the Eagles and a potential D-hop trade. I mean, D-hop is unbelievable. That Cardinals offense is going to be something else. That offensive mind and Kif in Cliff Kingsbury, you got Kyler Murray, Larry Fitz is still there. You got that that young guy, Christian Kirk. They're, yo, they are going to be something if, if they develop here. That is crazy. I cannot believe how bad Bill O'Brien looks and the Houston Texans. They just got finessed. And I just lost even more respect for Bill O'Brien. But shout out to D-Hop. He had three years left on his deal, but they didn't want to pay him. You don't want to pay one of the best receivers in the league. 
Shout out to D Hop. He's about to get some big time money in Arizona. Next on the list, let's talk about Amari Cooper. Shout out to Jerry Jones and the Cowboys. He couldn't get a deal done with Dak, so he ends up placing the franchise tag on him. Amari Cooper walks into free agency. That first round pick that they gave up isn't looking so good now, is it? Amari Cooper, I mean, he can come back in free agency, but in my opinion, I don't know. I think he's about to get some big time bucks. The dude consistently balls. He's only 25, getting better and better. Had like eight touchdowns last year, his most in a season yet. Amari is big time. And, and by the way, before we go into these few guys, I've heard this morning, they said, according to a source, that Howie Roseman wants to shake it up. Well, guess what? There are three big names, and we're about to talk about them, and Howie needs to make a splash. I know we got the draft coming up. I know it's heavy with wide receivers, but make a splash. Amari Cooper is available. Imagine the Eagles paying him and stealing him away from the Cowboys, similar to DeMarco Murray. Well, guess what? We don't have a Chip Kelly now to mess that up. You bring Amari here. I don't know who the heck's going to be designing these plays right now, but Doug's going to be calling them, and we got some offensive minds in here. Amari Cooper, he would step in and instantly be the number one on this team, and I really like Amari because even through all the controversy in his career, in my opinion, he really hasn't you know, made too many implications. He has just kept his head down. The kid is humble and he works hard and he is a beast. We saw it single-handedly. Remember when he caught that winning touchdown? I think it was his third of the game off of Rasul Douglas's hands. Amari Cooper, if we can lay our hands on him and steal him away from Dallas, that would be sensational. Shout out to Jerry Jones for not getting the deal done. They might not even get a, done, a deal done with Dak Prescott. They've been talking about it for weeks. The guy wants like $40 million a year. Go ahead and pay him. Go ahead. Thank you, Jerry. Once again, what can go wrong will go wrong. Amari Cooper's on a free agent market. He needs to be the number one or two priority the Eagles are looking at right now. Next, Stefan Diggs. I'm on my way home and I checked Twitter and, and one minute ago, the tweet, Stefan Diggs tweets out, it's time for a new beginning. We've heard for weeks that Stefan Diggs has been on have We've heard pretty much during this season, there's been ups and downs. Kirk Cousins got a two year contract extension. I think it was this morning. And you know what Stefan Diggs did? He said, you know, I can't deal with this dude anymore. I am out of here. Remember when he publicly criticized him? Stefan Diggs wants out of Minnesota, and I'm telling you, he it, it is time. He is going to get traded. Minnesota is going to trade him. If I'm Howie Roseman, I immediately get on the phone and inquire about Stefan Diggs. If we can get him for the reasonable price, Stefan Diggs would be so good in this system. He brings so much to an offense. Now, there's obviously there's been you know some complications. I mean, I don't think the dude is out of hand, out of pocket. I mean, he speaks out and says how he feels. I don't think he's done anything too major. But boy, imagine Stefan Diggs lined up, and imagine Deshaun Jackson and Dallas Goddard and Zach Ertz and some of these other pieces that you could plug in. This offense would be lethal. Stefan Diggs to Philadelphia. To me, right now, I have a gut feeling. I have a gut feeling. I'm not hearing this anywhere. I have a gut feeling for some reason that out of the big names available, Howie is going to try to, to get Stefan more than the other ones. I feel like Stefan Diggs will be a perfect fit for Philadelphia. And taking him away from an NFC contender, that would be huge. I'm excited. Howie better be on the phone right now. He would be happy with Carson Wentz, and I promise you that. And lastly, Odell Beckham Jr. Obviously, the Browns experiment did not work out this year. I mean, Odell went from, you know, the Giants saying they weren't going to trade him, and he gets traded. He's happy. They got all these offensive juggernauts. Jarvis Landry, Baker Mayfield, and Freddie Kitchens lays the egg. The Browns have a terrible year compared to what they were supposed to do. The o or what is it? The GM's gone. Freddie Kitchens is gone. You got Kevin Stefanski. Not too much of a popular hire in there. He's gonna. He obviously he's gonna have them boys improved. But OBJ is uh, what I'm hearing is on the trade market and he's available. How, this is how I feel about OBJ. 
heck of a talent. Dude is like out of this world when it comes to football. Would I be happy? Would I be satisfied with OBJ on this team? Of course I would because of the talent perspective. But let me be honest. Jeffrey Lurie doesn't really try to go out and acquire guys like Odell. Even we're hearing just not even like on the field stuff, but you know, this back backstage behind behind the scenes kind of stuff with Alshon Jeffrey going to Josina Anderson, just stuff like that, the altercations, all that. Alshon's gonna be gone, okay? I'm pretty sure he's going to be gone. Jeffrey Lawyer has never condoned that type of environment for the most part. OBJ brings a lot to the table, even outside of his football talent. We know that. He's had problems before. He he goes overboard sometimes. Now, what I will say is last year in Cleveland, OBJ handled himself very well through everything. He was not getting nearly enough touches. He was he was really not being utilized like OBJ should. But he kept his mouth shut. He, he stayed down and played hard. And he kept belief in his team and his system. And I respect that. Could he do the same thing here? I don't know. I believe he could. I mean, imagine him coming back and playing the Giants twice a year. He would go for 200 yards each game. I would be fine with OBJ coming here. Now, I think in terms of the priority list, I think he would be below the others just because of the reasons I've talked about, just because of the extra things he brings to the table. I don't know if Doug Peterson is inclined to handle a dude like that, but OBJ is available and I'm sure Harry Roseman is at least contacting the Browns to talk about that. All these guys present great options. The The draft is wide receiver heavy. We have some picks. Like I said, he wants to shake things up. He could trade up. We could go for a splash and get one of these guys. We could trade up in the draft and maybe get like a linebacker, a playmaker, Isaiah Simmons. Who knows? We could trade back, get a couple corners. Who knows? Everything is swirling around today. It's been so Freaking exciting to watch. I mean, a few minutes ago, I'm watching De- DeForest Buckner gets traded out of nowhere for a first rounder to the Colts. All these quarterbacks are on the market. Obviously, we're just talking about wide receivers here in this video, but you know, corners are on the market. Byron Jones, the Eagles are in contact with him. We could go out and trade for Darius Slay. There is so much that could happen. Like I said, I have a feeling the Eagles are going to go heavy for Stefan Diggs. But boy, would I be happy with an Amari Cooper. Steal him away from Dallas. I'd be happy with an OBJ. The talent level of that dude. Give Carson Wentz someone. We saw last year. No one, no wide receiver had more than 500 yards. We need depth and we need ballers here on this team. I'm looking for some dude to kind of step in and give that Alshon production that we had in 2017. These guys could even go above that. They are balling. I can't believe DeAndre Hopkins got traded for what he got traded for. Bill O'Brien sucks. The Texans suck. The Eagles are in position here to make a big splash, and I'm so excited. Let me know your thoughts down below on what you think the Eagles should do. Should they make a big splash? Should they go out and acquire one of these guys? Should we wait for the draft? Address other positions first. Let me know it all down below. Free agency is kicking off, and I cannot wait to see what happens. Thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate all of you for stopping by. And I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.